What's up guys? We're here in the cabin of the Tesla Model S Plaid and I thought we should take a quick look at the climate controls because it's a little different than most cars. So you can tap your main climate control button there, which is just the temperature readout that brings up the main menu. Uh, now you'll notice that there are not a lot of vents that are easily adjustable in this interior. There are actually none at all. Uh, so what you got to do to adjust your vents is go into the touch screen and you can move the airflow around like so. Uh, up, down, side to side, bring it into the center, uh, however you wish. So that's how you adjust the direction of air. Uh, now you can also have heated and cooled seats in here. So heated and cool. There's also an auto mode that you can throw it on. Uh, a heated yoke, not a heated steering wheel. Your defrost is in there. Uh, you also have an air conditioning basically kill switch. So you press this and you get maximum everything really, really quick. We'll turn that off though because that'll make a lot of noise. <laughs> and then beyond that, we have a few different modes way on the right side here. So you have a keep mode that you can activate so you can turn your car off, walk away from it, and the car will continue with the climate control to keep it at the same temperature. You also have a dog mode. So this is what happens when you have a dog in the car. Uh, and eventually when you get out, turn it off, it will come up with a little message on the screen that says dog mode enabled so that everybody knows that your dog is staying cool in the car. And lastly, there is a camp mode, which will basically keep the car on to keep you cool and or warm when you're camping. Uh, but it will turn off when you eventually get to 20% so that you don't actually kill the car uh, in the process of staying cool or warm. And that's the climate control for the Model S.